What's up, Internet? Welcome back to the Octopath Traveler Character Overview, and today we're going to be looking at Alfin, particularly Alfin the Dancer. The reason why I recommend Dancer so much on Alfin isn't just because of the dances that he comes with that increases your damage, although those are very useful in and of themselves, it's not even because of the rad outfit that he comes with. No, the reason why I want Alfin as a dancer is because of the amazing speed that comes with the secondary job. The sooner Alfin can take action during any given battle, Battle, the much better position your entire party is going to be. Alfin is the ultimate support, even better than Tressa, I'm afraid to say. And the, thi the reason why is because of his exclusive Concoct ability. Concoct is basically an ability that lets you combine two components in order to either help your entire team or to hinder your enemy. For the purposes of this video, we're mainly just going to be helping the team, and in particular, there is the Purifying Seeds and Purifying Dust. Purifying Dust, in tandem with a Essence of Pomegranate, is the same effect as the Donate BP, but it'll be 2 BP for the entire party. It's very useful if you're in a hurry to get your Divine Skills, not to mention that the Daughter's Charity, the Apothecary Divine Skill, does in fact work with, con with the uh, Concoct, so you will be able to get the very maximized effect from a single target ability, but then apply it to the entire party is just really, really solid. Not to mention that the dancer skills, they're all, they are still quite good. The dances are very useful, especially if you want to maximize damage. However, if you have already unlocked the secret classes, particularly the Runeblade and the Warmaster, they do come with their own skills that increase physical or elemental damage, so it's the exact same effect as dances. Other than that, though, Alphen has the second highest HP stat in the game, and he has no trouble maintaining that. He doesn't really want for much, and he's pretty self-sufficient as a support unit, and if you have strong people on your team, he's gonna shine really, really well. Now, looking over at his equipment, he doesn't really do much damage, at least the way that I use him, I don't really do much damage with him. You can potentially hit massive damage with the last stand builds, you can totally do that, but for now, my main concern is just bumping up his speed, and you see that with the Viper Dagger. The Viper Dagger has the occasional chance to poison your target, which is good because you don't have to waste any turns in poisoning your enemies, especially early on where in poison is more useful, but it gives you more speed, and that's going to be the main emphasis here. The sooner he can do stuff, the more momentum your team is going to get. So we're actually going to drop our defenses in order to give him more speed. You can see this with the low level's wind attire, which gives us a whopping 22 speed. Doesn't seem like much, but we do want to stack it up. And then we're going to use a sprightly earring and a sprightly necklace. Don't worry about giving Alf an SP. The reason why we don't worry about it is because is because Concoct is a free spend ability, and it does give you the potential of healing back if the uh, Cleric Thief is a little bit too busy handling somebody else. But that basically about does it for the equipment though. Emphasize speed as best you can through your weapons and your equipment. Now, going over at the support skills. The support skills, making support skills for supports is always really fun, or support type units rather. Uh, first of all is going to be the show goes on, the dancer skill. This is great, especially in tandem with rehabilitate. For those of you guys that don't know, Rehabilitates, it cures all status ailments, and provides immunity to any and all status ailments for a set number of turns, and this increases that by one whole turn, which is very, very good to have, particularly in the more complex, drawn-out boss fights. Next up is going to be Patience. This gives you a small chance of acting again. If you can act a second time, or if Alphen in particular is able to act a second time, that's going to be huge for your party. That is just two more BP that you can potentially work with. That is more SP that you can potentially work with, or even a Dota's Charity. Anything goes if you can have that extra turn, and you can definitely make good use of that. Saving Grace, I'm actually going to apply Saving Grace to the entire party, because Alfin really does help out for teams that have Saving Grace um, on everyone, and essentially, yeah, you can't help anyone if you're dead, so we want to make sure that Alfin's already impressive HP is just pushed even further. Boost Start is a very useful one to have too. You don't really need it as much in comparison to other things, but more BP for characters is just always a good thing anyway. Uh, you will be able to get Dota's Charity after one turn, or if Tressa manages to go first before, she can just donate a BP to Alphen and then he'll have the Dota's Charity up and running and ready to go. So, that, I think that basically about does it for what we can do. This is more or less the best 
kind of setup that you can have. You don't even need SP Saber for the reasons why I mentioned earlier, he doesn't really use it that much. So uh, yeah, what we're going to do is that we're going to cut the video, we're going to fight a bunch of bosses uh, using our high damage builds. In particular, we're going to be using War Master Hanitz, or Hanitz Judgment Day mode, as I like to call her, and Rune Lord Tressa, or uh, Gilgatress, as I've been calling her on my own time. Anyways, I hope to see you guys there. Alrighty, so we're gonna start things off by fighting against the Venom 2 Tiger. I love fighting this guy because he has so much health, so we have more of a chance to show off what exactly it is that our characters are capable of. Very, very easy. He's weak to spear, bow, fire, and light, and we have plenty of those things. But before things can begin, I'm gonna have Hanet do a light hole trap, making sure that we have as many turns as possible. Now, Alfin is going to go second, and what I'm gonna do about that is I will use the, um concoct and as you can see over here you can go to Marcelum or any of the chapter 4 towns and then you can get as many purifying seats as you want the purifying seat can only affect one person unless you're using Dota's charity and then purifying dust is a slightly lower effect but you will be able to hit the entire party and that's exactly what I want to do for these pomegranates this is going to give us 2 BP for the entire party Okay, so next up is going to be Therian, and what I would prefer doing is just... I guess we can just use an Armor Corrosive for now. I think Armor Corrosive might be a good idea. And we will have some... have some spears going on too. Now, one of the cool things about having easy access to all this BP is that you could easily just use the War Master skill to check for all the weaknesses. Thankfully, we already know what the War Master, um, sorry, what the weaknesses are of this guy, so we don't have to really fuss with that. And he's weak to bow, so Rain of Arrows is perfect. And we got ourselves the break. Excellent. So, what I can do right now is just use the Thief skill, share SP and I will share with Tressa. As you can see, everyone is in tip-top form. Almost everyone has maxed out, B uh, maxed out BP, which is amazing. Now, what else can I do here? I guess we can use the Apothecary's Dota's Charity on... Uh, we'll use it, actually, on Alfin. And then I will have Tressa donate some more BP to keep some more going around, because we have plenty of time. He doesn't have another turn for a while. Now, I want to show you guys just exactly how ridiculous this is for for uh, healing up. Uh, let's let's it's more BP while we're at it. I think everyone's maxed out except for Alfin. That simply won't do. And we'll spend this chance to get another like hull trap in there. And finally, we can concoct, and we have Dodo's Charity, so now the Purifying Seed is going to affect everyone. So we're going to use the Essence of Grape. And that's going to be 9,999 heal for everybody, and we are good to go. I will now take this chance to just steal as much SP as I want. So basically, you can't die with this setup. That's essentially what the main draw is here for Alfin. You cannot die, and look, he's going to go again. So unfortunately, we can't overheal the SP with any of our abilities, but we could... Let's see... There's actually not very many other options that we can do, so instead what I'll do is I will use the Apothecary still skill and Poison, but just for some cheeky stuff. And now, the fun begins. This is a really, really good setup though. Dodo's Charity in tandem with that, very, very useful to have. Also, he's poisoned everyone, but um, honestly, who, who can care at this point? Now, this is where things get a little interesting. I'm going to just have to aim for the break this time. Uh, let's see... I don't even- I didn't have to worry about losing HP because honestly, 8200, not a problem. Let's use Wildfire. Okay, and you know what, this would actually be the time to use Rehabilitate on myself too. Remember, the show mo must go on will give us that additional turn, which is very, very nice. And, uh, yeah, Rain of Arrows. So basically, if ever you're in a pinch, that's the thing you want to do. Use Dota's Charity on Alfin. And then once that happens, all you gotta do is just use the seed, not the dust, the seed, and that's gonna be 9,999 on everyone. It's a really, really nice way to salvage your run. And you know what, since we're playing as Apothecary, we might as well spread the love. 
Okay, so Therian's at full SP right now, which is great, and uh, I might as well steal over to Hanit. This is like, this is a very efficient way of doing things, because remember, like, for those of you guys that haven't seen the Therian video, you could just constantly donate BP, uh, sorry, not, not BP, uh, SP to people, and that's going to, it won't necessarily carry over, but it'll always ensure that you're at max, which is exactly what you want. Alright, so we're going to go Concoct again. We'll give Tress another one. We don't even need to spend on a Pomegranate. Pomegranates, to my knowledge, cannot be bought at all. So we want to make sure. That's going to be 4 BP for everyone. I could have actually also waited for Dota's Charity for that too. But honestly, in that scenario where you want to get full BP for everybody, it might just be better to use Dota's Charity and a Revitalizing Jam. But again, it's up to you. It's up to you. If you want any one specific thing, then Concoct is your thing. But yeah, look how easily we handle that, though. There was no danger whatsoever. Once everyone has saving grace, you're pretty much off to the races. You know what? Let's fight against the dragon. The dragon's a lot of fun. Yeah, but yeah. Alpha and the Apothecary. I actually uh, am ashamed to admit, I don't use him nearly as much as the other characters. Not because I don't find them particularly compelling. Because I do find his personality very, very likable. The real issue, really, is just that there were so many other characters to pick from. And I think that's just the mark of a good game. Let's go for some Holy Light. And this guy also has a weakness to Axe, that's the only one that's not covered, and thankfully, we have three Axe users on our team. But before I do any of that though, I do want to use the Concoct quickly. Uh, purifying Dust, no, yeah, Purifying Dust, and then Essence of Pomegranate. So if I use Dodo's Charity on myself, I could literally just... Um, yeah, if I use Dodo's Charity on myself, on a... Uh, on Alfin, then I will be able to get a full DP. Or I don't even have to wait after that either. But I should still wait though. You know what? Let's concoct again. And we'll give ourselves a little bit more. Do you know what? Let's go soothing dust this time. It's a lower it's a little bit lower. But still, like one is really all we need right now. And off we go. Here we go. Go for the break. And we're going to use Dodor's charity on myself because it's something we totally could do. Now, he is a little bit low on SP, but again, we have a Therion on our team, so that's not even a problem. So here we go. And we now have everything we need to do as many Divine Skills as we want. That's the beauty of Alfin and his Concoct ability. You can easily be expected to just spam away. And like I said before, when you do War Master at the same War Master and Rune Lord all at the same time, you go through the entire spectrum of available elements and weapons. In doing so, you'll uncover all the weaknesses, so that does help take the uh, the trial and error. Not to mention that the switch does come with the screenshot function, so you could totally use that too in case you're stuck at a boss fight. It's a really really safe build. I like it though. It's really really cool. Okay, the next one we can look up is you know what? Let's let's fight against. Hmm. Yeah, do you want? Let, let's go for this dude, the unit. The mighty unit. Now, the thing about this particular build is that I would highly recommend having this one available if you're attempting the... If you were attempting the, um, the final boss, particularly the first phase. The first phase is very annoying, and you want to make sure you can use that. Okay, so my plan here is to just get the Dota's Charity out of the way as soon as we can. And in the meantime, I know that this guy is weak to staff, so I might as well just give him a little thunk. Dota's charity on myself. We have plenty of HP to work with, so even though we do still take a beating from these guys, it's gonna be alright. Alright, we will use the leg hold trap to bring Yvonne to the back of the line. Now, looking at the available turns, Therian's gonna go next. And... Alfin already has the Dodger's Charity going on. Oh, he could do it right now, actually. This is perfect. This is why Patience is such a good idea. So, I will use the Purifying Seed, and we're gonna give everyone just full health. We're gonna get everyone full health. So now, it doesn't even matter what's going on, which is great. And, oh, uh, yeah, just give him a... Let's see... Actually, yeah, we can do this. Okay, so just two hits. And because Alfin has Dodo's Charity applied, we can concoct another Purifying Seed and the Essence of Pomegranate, which is going to fully restore everyone's BP. So I highly doubt these skeletons are going to survive the uh, the Windhilds. 
And I know that Yvonne's likely to survive, so we're going to just have Tressa do the honors for this one. Isn't this crazy? It's just, it's crazy the amount of combinations you can do. And again, because we have Dancer on Alfin, he's going to be going first the majority of the time, which is amazing. Excellent. It's amazing how easily we can do these things. But yeah, that pretty much about does it for Dancer Alfin, you guys. Dancer Alfin, one of the safest and most reliable supports that you can do due to his speed and the ability to keep you at full resources at almost all times, especially at final bosses, particularly the secret final boss, where it's like the biggest challenge out there, but he does make things a little bit safer, and that's exactly what you could want from any decent support. Anyways, guys, thanks very, very much. We have one more, one more character that still has yet to have an, inter um, an overview, and I cannot wait to get into that one. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're uh, kind of running out of Octopath stuff, and I do not mind that, though. There's plenty still on the way left to do, and I look forward to seeing you guys for the eighth and final character overview, and then there's going to be some stuff after that. So until then, see you guys next time.